Hi everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock, mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. And uh, also feel free to subscribe to our WeChat public account where you could receive constant updates regarding the uh, tech interviews and also lots of other fun technology news. All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, lead code this problem combinations, essentially giving you a two integers and a k will return all the possible combinations uh, of those k numbers out of 1 to n. Uh, if you still recall your high school math, this is essentially the um, c and k where you choose k elements out of n. So this will give you uh, n to the power of k time, um, different solutions. So this will basically be our complexity, which will be n to the power of k. So with those kind of problems, uh, it wants you to print out all the um, solutions. There's nothing really you could optimize other than just uh, simply output all the combinations. Um, this this kind of problem, because it's a very structural, given the previous to reach the to the final solution, you could read the previous, you could uh, divide it into a smaller problem and build the final solution based upon the smaller problem. So recursion is very natural, basically DFS. Um, yeah, so the time complexity is n to the power of k and the space complexity also n to the power of k because you need that much space to store a result. Okay, let's just quickly code it up. Just like any other problems, some uh, validation. Nothing. Now I want a helper where I take the starting element and uh, how many elements I need and what's the current one, intermediate result and final result. So My start, this is n, this is k, this is a intermediate result, this is a final result. Okay, so if the element already is zero, means I already got the final result. So here I just need to. create a new integer because I need to do a deep copy of the array. Other than that, I need to do my recursion from n start to n. So this number needs to get into my list. Now I need to recur DFS. So next number, n stays the same. I already got one more element in the in the in the result. Okay, now after recursion, I need to clean up basically the last element I want to pop it out. So actually, list dot remove is actually a bad method in Java because it gets overwritten with the same thing, like with different signatures. Here I'm using an integer. This gets especially experience extremely worse when. Uh, Auto boxing is happening. So if you want to re remove the index, you're using this primitive type. If you want to return, re remove the first occurrence of off one value, you have to you have to do this to cast it to an integer so that so that it will 
it will remove actually the element, not the index. This is a very bad design in Java. In C sharp, it's actually much better. So a general rule of, rule of thumb, if you read the effective Java, is don't write uh, overriding or overriding functions like this. Give it a different names. Okay, so let's see. So let me check the validation intermediate result get the final result this is our return start from here so there are some general cases okay i think this looks correct let's see All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.